the transducers facing the lateral wall of the proximal right lower lobe bronchus and pulled proximally to visualize the right lower lobe pulmonary artery. As the scope is pulled proximally into the right main bronchus and oriented anterolaterally, the right pulmonary artery and vein come into view. With the scope near the main carina and rotated anteromedially, the pulmonary trunk is inspected. Investigation on the left also begins in the lower lobe bronchus. With the transducer facing the lateral wall, the left lower lobe pulmonary artery is seen. This video shows a small 11L lymph node and the left lower lobe pulmonary artery using Doppler mode. The left upper lobe pulmonary artery is seen by placing the scope in the proximal left upper lobe and rotating the transducer anteromedially. This video shows part of the left upper lobe pulmonary artery in Doppler mode, adjacent to Doppler negative lung parenchyma and motion artifact. As the scope is moved into the left main bronchus and oriented laterally, the left main pulmonary artery and aortic arch come into view. This video shows a 4L lymph node above the pulmonary artery and below the aortic arch. Orienting the scope anterolaterally towards the right at the level of the main carina, the tubular superior vena cava is seen. Advancing the scope into the right main bronchus, the right pulmonary artery and vein come into view. Orienting the scope laterally towards the right, just above the main carina, the azagas vein is confirmed as a vascular structure using Doppler mode. With the scope oriented anterolaterally towards the right at the level of the main carina, superior vena cava collapsibility can be assessed. This video shows an enlarged 4R lymph node and normal variation in SVC diameter during respiratory phases.